Rainbow and Bunny. Thank you so much for helping me collect various items for the charity sale. We are always glad to help Fairy. But what is this charity for? This charity is to raise money for homeless people. That's great. I would like to contribute as much as I can for this cause. Thank you, Bunny. Let's see what you have brought. Wow! These are such beautiful pots. Let's see how many pots you have got. Two, four, six, eight. Hey, Fairy! How are you counting these pots? You seem to be skipping a number in between. Yes, Amber. You are right. I am using a method called skip counting to count these pots. Skip counting? What is that? Skip counting is a very easy and a faster way to count. It is a method of counting by skipping some numbers. Really? How do you do that? Suppose we skip count in the steps of two. So we need to start from two as two numbers after zero will be two. Then we keep adding two to get the next number. So two plus two is equal to four. Now we should add two to the number four. So the next number is six. And then we add two to the number six. So the next number is eight. So I could count eight pots quickly. Hey, those lanterns are very good fairy. Oh yes. I hope to sell all of them today. I'm sure they will get sold. They are really nice. Hmm. Now that gives me an idea. Why don't you kids try skip counting in steps of 20s? Sure, Fanny. Let's start. Let the first number be 20. Now tell me, what should be done to find the missing numbers? Since we have to count in the steps of 20s, we have to add 20 to the number 20. So, the next number will be 40. That's absolutely right, Bunny. And the next number is 60, which is obtained by adding 20 to the previous number, that is 40. Correct, Bunny. Now, continue till you reach 100. Okay. The next missing number will be 20 plus the previous number that is 60. So we get the number 80 and the last number is 100 which is obtained by adding 20 to the previous number that is 80. Bunny? You have done a brilliant job. Now let us try skip counting in 50s. Let's start with 100. Amber, can you try? Sure, Fairy. We have to count in the steps of 50s. So we have to add 50 to the number 100. So the next number will be 150. And the next number is 200, which is obtained by adding 50 to the previous number, that is 150. The next missing number will be 50 plus the previous number 200. So we get the number 250. And the last number is 300 which is obtained by adding 50 to the previous number that is 
250. Very good, Amber and Bunny. You have done a brilliant job. Now, this is just one way of skip counting. What we learnt now is skip counting by counting forward. Oh, is there another method to do skip counting, Fairy? Yes, Amber. You can also skip count backward. So, we have to subtract. Let's arrange the flowers I got from Mr. Teddy's garden. I have 100 flowers in total. Let us skip count backward in steps of 20. That means we have to make bunches of 20 flowers each. Ok, let's start. If you make one bunch of 20 flowers, how many flowers will be left out of 100 flowers? Hmm, I took 20 flowers from the bunch of 100 flowers. Now, we have to skip count backward in steps of 20. So, 100 minus 20 will be 80 flowers. That's correct, Amber. You have to subtract when you skip count backward. Why don't you try, Bunny? Oh, sure. Now I have to take out 20 flowers from the remaining 80 flowers. So we have to skip count backward in steps of 20. So 80 minus 20 will be 60 flowers. Now I have to take out 20 flowers from the remaining 60 flowers. So we have to skip count backward in steps of 20. So 60 minus 20 will be 40 flowers. Next, I have to take out 20 flowers from the remaining 40 flowers. So we have to skip count backward in steps of 20. So 40 minus 20 will be 20 flowers. And we finished making bunches of 20. Very good, Bunny. So we have a pattern of backward skip counting by 20. Before I start counting, let's quickly go over what we learned today. When you skip count, you can count faster by missing out some numbers. Skip counting can be done in the steps of 5, 10, 50, etc. To skip count forward, you have to just add the same number to the previous number. To skip count backward, you have to just subtract the same number from the previous number. For example, skip counting forward in steps of 10, starting from 10, gives 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Skip counting backward in steps of 10, starting from 100, gives 100, 90, 80, 70, 60.